Hi, I'm Anjali Crochet, and this is a special Marvel's Voices bonus, and I am here with a very special guest, Ira Madison the Third. Hi. So you got to give me the tea. I got to know the truth. You are so cool at pop culture. You do all these great things. Have you always been a nerd? We had a comic book store that was a mile from my childhood home uh, <laughs> in Milwaukee, uh, and I would walk there every weekend. That makes me so happy, <laughs> and this is going to be so fun talking to you about this, little Ira. Like, what is he? What is he? What is he reading? Yeah, I first got into wanting to get into comics because of animated series, and so I started reading Spider-Man comics. When I started Spider-Man, I bought those collections that had the black and white collections of uh, the comics from the '60s. So I actually read all of those too. Wow. Um, while reading the current series. And I hmm. read Avengers. Yeah. And I read um, I read Thunderbolts. That was out when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. it's got to die hard. Yeah. Um, and I read a lot of back issues. I bought a bunch of Dazzler comics. I have, um, she's one of my favorites as well, along with Spider-Man. I have every Dazzler issue. I've collected them from going to comic book store to comic book store to Comic Con. I think it's really interesting that you go get the back issues mm -hmm. because, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but like thinking about your writing and what you've done and kind of the angle that you take and even your, your podcast, mm -hmm. there is this desire to understand the connecting bits. Yes, yes. And like see the full picture in your head, but also um, perhaps a curiosity of like why? Yeah. Like, one of my favorite things is going to a comic book store and just, like, going through the old issues. I love the fact that I just feel like you have boxes of long boxes <laughs> in your in your home. I do back at home yeah. uh, at my parents' place in Milwaukee. Like, there's still comics there that I need to eventually move to Los Angeles. Do not get one of the stories that I have gotten from several guests on the show where their parents are like, come get them, and then they wait too long. Just... <laughs> Just know that there have been some tear-jerking stories about things being given away or put in the incinerator. Yes. Um, luckily, my parents know how much that means to me, so they will not. Thank you so much, Ira. This was so much fun. Yeah, it was great. Well, if you want to hear the entire interview with Ira, make sure you're going to check out the whole episode of Marvel's Voices, which is available everywhere you listen to podcasts. 